Well, David, that was uh, just about a comprehensive away victory as you can get, wasn't it? Yeah, I think. Um, obviously, have not been here for that long. I'm fully aware of the, the away record, and it's been long overdue. Obviously, I personally only lost one away, but the fact is, it's taken this long is slightly embarrassing, and it can't be, you know, the one swallow of the summer, if you like. We've got to make sure that's repeatable, and if they play like they played tonight, it will be, and that's the that's the challenge going forward. It was a heavy pitch as well tonight, but you played some lovely stuff at times. Yeah, I, 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 that's what we try. We tried to create repeatable moments of the game. We tried to understand what we're trying to do. And I thought the players did that really well tonight. I thought they played uh, an intensity and a tempo that created Salford lots of problems. And if I'm being honest, it felt like 3 0 flat of them, not us. Um, so if we play like that, we'll, we'll be okay. Yeah, and it, it, it spells at 1 0. It looked like you needed that second goal really just to kick on. Yeah, I, th I think obviously they changed shape at half time, and it, it's, it's not easy to then go get that message on of how to expose them. and what we need to do. I thought, to be fair, the players sort of worked out a little bit, um, but then really understood it as the game sort of progressed. But like I said, the second goal was um, important, and obviously the third is the icing on the cake. But I, 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 I never, to be honest, there was, Harvey made a good save, I think at 1-0. It might have been 2-0, I think it was 1-0. Um, and they had a little bit of a spell, but I never felt as though we were um, sort of under under threat really, um, and I've said, I, you know, going back to Saturday, we, we played well in the first half. It was never a two-nil game. We, we we should have been in front um, because we had lots of moments. But the second half wasn't acceptable, so we played well for 45 minutes. We've played well in other away games and got draws. Tonight we played well for the whole game and got a victory, and that's what it takes. And that's the good thing, David. You got the reaction from that second half against Mansfield and you've got that reaction in this team haven't you? Yeah, I, th well, I think the players knew, I'd, you know, I'm, I'm not a shouter, I'm not a ranter and raver, I'm here to help the players, I'm here to try and make them better, to improve them, there's no point in me shouting at them after Saturday, I didn't shout at them Saturday, I didn't shout at them you know, the following day or the day after, my job is to make them better and they know, you know as a professional if you've played well or you've not played well or if you've you've somehow not left everything out there. It's not an intentional thing usually. But then at the same time it doesn't it doesn't surprise me that, you know, we've had two lads sort of cramp up in the last five minutes there. Because that's what it takes to, to win a football match away from home and, and that's what we've got to do. The goals as well, the first goal, great play by Jamie Andrews in the midfield, out to Issa and a good finish from, from Harry. Yep. Um all all the goals really had were special <coughs> in their own way. Yeah, like I said we've been trying to work on lots of things. It's been really difficult, and I don't want anyone to get carried away. It's one, it's one win. Um, it's an important win, obviously. Um, the good thing is I can already start to see things that are happening. They might not always be, you know, like I said, the moments on Saturday, the Mansfield first half, we should, we should have been, but we didn't score any. Um, tonight we have. Um, so them sort of moments that happened in the first half Saturday have happened tonight and we took advantage of them and we've got to make sure they they are repeatable moments, which they, they are, if they play right and they make the right decisions and, and then they'd be clinical. So doing a couple of shooting sessions yesterday and training at the right intensity yesterday is, is, is beneficial um, as opposed to sort of coming off them a little bit because it's a match day minus one. So, you know, the players have, have been terrific. They've been really credit to themselves. They are listening, they are trying to improve, they are learning, and it reflects in nights like tonight, and that's only a, a good sign going forward. I thought Danny Rose worked his socks off tonight and deserved his goal as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The first thing he said to me says, I made up for it for that chip over the <laughs> <laughs> Which is sort of Danny to a T because he's a, he's a great bloke, yeah. he's a great bloke, and he works his socks off, and he, he knew he'd probably made a, a poor decision. Um, but he did not take his goal well, he was a terrific goal. Um, Does that show his confidence though, David, by trying to chip the keeper from yeah, that? Yeah, 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 it was a poor decision, we yeah. all know that, but, you know, I go, well, he wants to score a goal, that's a really important thing, especially for number nine, you know, most number nines aren't successful if they don't like scoring goals, well, he likes scoring goals, so, go on, keep trying, keep trying, you know, and he'll say, I'm sure, when I speak to him in a minute, he'll say it was a warm-up for the, for the one that went in the top corner, but, um, 
I thought I thought to a man we were terrific tonight and, and Danny sort of epitomised that uh, up, up the top of the pitch I thought they all worked the socks off and, and like I said we, we probably should have and, and could have scored more goals and nice that it gave the youngsters an opportunity to come on Cam Gardner and Aaron Braceway towards the end yeah Azra in particular has done really well in training he's done he's done ever so well and obviously Cam we, listen, we haven't got many <laughs> many fit forward players um, and obviously when you're 3-0 away from home you can take that opportunity and and I have to say, when, you know, when I've seen him train and so obviously saw him in the Youth Cup uh, against Forest, he, he was the one that, that stood out really. Um, he's got a long way to go, obviously, and we're not getting carried away, but you know, as a manager, you, you try and take them opportunities and, and hopefully it'll help both players going forward. And I saw you go over to applaud the 910 away fans who were tremendous all night. I, I said to Sean before the ball kick, got kicked, I said, what? The away fan was unbelievable. It's, it's, it's unbelievable. I, I, I walked out and I thought, wow, that is, that's a proper away following. On a Friday night, away from home, two hours from home. That, you know, it doesn't happen anywhere in Europe in Division 4. It just doesn't, you know, of, of any league, you know, um, at that level in, in continental Europe. So, so the, the fans deserve huge credit. The, the, the sang all night, it's, 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 it's quite a nice away end, isn't it? It's, mm. you know, it's covered, it's smallish, it creates the atmosphere. But they made the atmosphere, and thankfully they gave them something to cheer about. So I hope they've enjoyed the the journey home, um, and they're, they're still, uh, you know, they're still full of festive cheer.